Hello YouTube and welcome to the first video in the medieval Kanto map project thing. Now as you can tell we're not in Minecraft so I wanted to sort of plan the idea out a little bit, explain more in detail about what it's going to be because in that uh, update video I did the other day I kind of just, I just, I didn't really think it out properly. So what I've done here is I've pulled an image of the real Kanto region in Japan, um, which is this bit and uh, we also have this little section here so this is part of the pokemon game i think you have this little section that tails down the so we're going to sort of plan out the cities and each city is going to be a different style i don't think i mentioned that in the update video so there's going to be like you know a dwarven city a steampunk city an elven city and all that kind of stuff so it's all going to be different and unique and there's going to be little towns and all that stuff all dotted around as well so this is a really small image, so it's very pixelated, uh, so I apologise for that, but it was sort of like the best one I could find at this little bit, because this bit isn't part of the Kanto region in real life, so I needed that bit on, and I, I couldn't bother drawing it out myself. Um, so, let's see, we're going to use, uh, we'll use the colours from the game, so we'll use a grey, there, and this can be for Pewter City, Pewter City is going to be a Dwarven City, it just kind of fits because it's all around the stones and the rocks and everything. So that's all going to be up there. The next one that I've already thought of is going to be Celadon, not Celadon, Cerulean City. Uh, that's also kind of how I got my YouTube name by the way, Cerulean City, Cerulean Capuchin. Yeah, that was one of those ideas. So that's going to be over in this general area. Um, and that's going to be High Elven. So, you know, you've got high elven with all the white tall spiry buildings and blue roofs and that kind of stuff uh, i'll be doing more videos about the different styles as well later on but this is just sort of get your ideas down uh what else do we need to have let's go for uh Verm vermilion city i think it's vermilion city that's lieutenant surge's one um i want an orangey color there we go uh, so that's going to be right down here, and I figured a steampunk city is probably going to be the best. Um, also, you've got the SS and there, so we can have a big steampunk ocean line, cruise liner type thing. I think that's going to look really, really cool. Uh, so that's going to go there. Just taking a little swig of Coke. There we go. Um, Coca-Cola, that is. Don't do drugs. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got three of the eight major cities now we also have the volcano island down there not too sure what to do with that one i did make a list i made a list somewhere i'm always unprepared when it comes to my videos aren't i uh we need a green uh so celadon city is going to be sort of over here and i think that's going to be sort of a greeny color not a greeny color a wood elf style obviously the greeny color so we've got a wood elf style there for celadon city um also we're going to do this now because we're going to be changing the shape of the region and stuff do that and then we'll just do pencil uh, brush then really small and black and it's just going to go wee down there like that and like that so that's roughly going to be the shape of the map the the edge so we've got those four what else do we need we need red for the volcano island that a bit bigger mm, there we go so that's oh forgot the name of that one it's the volcano badge what was the name of it? cinnabar island nailed it so yeah so that i was thinking maybe orcs maybe orcs down there because you know volcanoes and they, they like that sort of terrain um what else do we have there's saffron city I'm not too sure about saffron city maybe you guys can I think Saffron City was going to do more of like an imperial, um, like just a human city, um, because it's kind of like in the center and it's a big one and that. Um, so I've got the Celadon City there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Vermilion City is the normal gym. We don't have a color for that really, maybe that color will do. Uh, so we've got that there as well. Again, I'm not too sure about what style to do for that. And there's another one, isn't there, down here? Fuchsia City. Fuchsia City's pink. 
so that's going to be kind of about here. And again, I'm not too sure what style to do for Fuchsia City. Um, oh, Mage. That's what I was going to do because it was Pinky and it was Magey. Uh, I was going to go for Mage. So we've got... Um, we have Dwarven. We've got High Elven. We've got Wood Elf. Imperial. Steampunk. Mage. Orc. And we just need one for this over here. The uh, normal gym vermilion city uh what style can that be in and i'm not too sure maybe you guys can put in the comments below what you think and maybe if you think um these styles should be arranged differently then do that as well there is another place that we need to put in as well which is lavender town everyone likes lavender town i think i'm going to do it all the way over here on this peak there so it's a kite out quite out the way and we're also going to have loads of other little things now i'm going to use uh, I think I'll just use black actually to lay out a few other areas. So obviously we're going to have Bill's lighthouse, which is going to be over here, which means I might actually move that Cerulean city a bit closer to that lighthouse. I think that makes more sense. Uh, we've also got the power plant, which might be about there somewhere. We've got all of this area here is a big bay. Uh, I'm going to have a bridge connecting these two peaks, like the bicycle road thing. Uh, I'm also thinking from the TV show, there's a place called Maiden's Peak, and that's around here. It's very close to uh, Vermilion City, so we're having that. Obviously, we're going to be having Pallet Town. That's going to be like a little hobbit farm village, I think. So, you know, I'm trying to think of different styles. So, if you guys have different styles and you have ideas of, like, what styles would go with what, um, then put it in the comments below. And once I've actually done the outline of the map in World Painter, um... I will then start to add that and I'll make it into a text file so we know exactly what is what. Um, and I'll be doing a post on the forums as well once I've got the world paint, uh, base map done. And by the base map I mean basically the outline like this. Once that's done I can put it up there and I can start to plan it out a little bit and then I can start working on the world paint and map. So the actual map itself, um, what colour can we use? We've used so many colours. Uh, Let's use a dark grey, I suppose. So there's going to be all mountains, all like this. And there's going to be Mount Moon there. We're going to have a um, big mountain here. That's going to be for uh, the... I was going to say the Fantastic Four, though. <laughs> uh, the Indigo Plateau, where you've got the final four gym bosses. They're going to be there. Um, and we kind of need something. There's also a mountain range that goes like this, sort of. So we do need something to separate this from here. Obviously you've got Viridian Forest as well. Uh, so there's going to be quite a lot of stuff going on, on this map. I'm going to make it, I think, between 2.5 and 3k in size. Um, the LOF map on the Darkcraft server is 4k. And I think that would take quite a while for walking in between each place. If you're trying to do it as an adventure map, you know, walk in between each town it would get boring so i'm trying to make it small for that purpose obviously um realistically you would have it bigger so like cities and whatever there's also going to be other small towns and i think the smaller towns uh, once the big cities are done i might just open that up so that you can claim to be the project leader of that town and you can get whoever you want to help you with that so i'm not going to be doing them you you guys are going to be doing it if that makes sense because i'm trying to make this more community driven rather than this is what i'm doing so i want you guys to help me out with this and see what you think uh, we also have another cave system here uh i can't remember what it's called but yeah you've got that one there and we also have diglet cave which comes out about here i think and is over the diglet cave so we've got that got quite a few different cavey things for people who like those um and yeah, I kind of think that's everything I need to talk about. Um, if there's still anything that you're not sure about, um, either message me on the server with the slash mail, message me on the forums, or just put a comment below, message me on YouTube, um, if you don't want other people to see what you're messaging me. Um, and yeah, just like ask about any questions you want. Some things I might not have even thought of yet, and you're like, well, how's this going to work? So you want to ask me that. So yeah, that'll be good. But this is the basic plan, basic layout. Oh, 
I've just seen a face. Look, there's two eyes, the eyebrows and the nose. I'm not going to be able to unsee that now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's, there's all that going on mounting up there as well. Yeah, so hopefully you guys get a better understanding of what's happening. If you have ideas, put it in the comments below. Um, I really want to get a different style for each city. So if you can help me out with that, if even if you think I've got styles wrong, just tell me what you think will be best and I'll... I'll have a think, see if I can change it around, because uh, you guys might come up with something better than what I have. That's it for this video, guys. Um, hopefully the terrain video, I'm actually going to record the world painting of the map. Uh, I've not done it for nearly two years, so it'll be interesting to see um, how that goes. But I think it'll be something different to the channel. So I'll be doing that. Um, and hopefully that video will be coming out a couple of days after this one. Uh, that's it though, so I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that fun stuff. I forgot to say that in the last video. Uh, yeah.